Cigarettes, cigars, and pipes are legal in New York State, but the sale of a product that contains no tobacco or smoke could be banned if a bill passes in Albany. Our Chris Whalen explains. It looks like a cigarette, it's used like a cigarette, and it tastes like a cigarette. But it's not. It utilizes a liquid nicotine solution to create a tar-free and odorless vapor that is just like smoke. Electronic cigarettes burst on the scene just a few years ago and have caught on with smokers looking for another way to get their nicotine fix. It's built a lucrative company for John Burns, but now New York State could be crushing out his business with two new bills that have reached Albany. There's one bill in the assembly that would effectively ban the sale of e-cigarettes in New York State, period. And there's a new bill that just was introduced in the Senate that would simply ban the sale to minors. While Lupardo and Burns understand and support keeping the product away from those less than 18 years of age, an all-out ban is a bit more puzzling. The reason? Lack of information on exactly what electronic cigarettes do. But there needs to be regulation and more scientific studies to determine if these products are hazardous to consumers. Regulation of electronic cigarettes has been tough since the Food and Drug Administration hasn't been able to classify exactly which category they fall under. It's technically not a tobacco product since the device can contains no tobacco. And there's no proof that it's an effective smoking cessation device, although Burns says he has customers who use it as such. You can uh, choose from high, medium, low, or non-nicotine, which allows a user to change their nicotine level at any given time. So people may very well be doing that. The health department says it's spoken with smokers who agree, but others who say the new nicotine supplier actually fuels their habit even more. Some smokers are using it to sustain their addiction because with our clean indoor air laws, there's places you can't smoke indoors so then they use this product um, to smoke indoors and therefore if they weren't able to use it maybe they would be more likely to quit. All points that will likely be brought up as the debate over whether to put the sale of electronic cigarettes up in smoke continues. In Binghamton, Chris Whalen, Fox 40 News.